Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate her. My motivator. Y'all make me greater. Just pulled the BMW out. It's been about almost a year since I drove it. I haven't drove it since I got the Impala. This used to be my daily driver, but since I got the Impala, I've been driving it. Plus, also, I need to put some coilovers on it. I had some spring lifters on it. I took the front ones off, and it just dropped it down a lot more. You can see where I've been scrubbing it. Messed up my reflectors out. The back ain't scrubbing. I got some spring lifters on it. Let me see if I can show you. Let me stick it to the other side. You can see the spring lifters here. I want to take those out. I put them in when I first got the rims because they were scrubbing. So I want to do it the right way. And I've been having these coilovers for probably over a year. I just haven't installed them. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take you around back and show you the coilovers. But this was my daily. You can see I got my YouTube name up here. And these tires here. These 225, 3022s. I want to go with some bigger tires because I like to travel. And I don't want to bend my rim so once I lift it up thinking about putting some bigger tires on it pull the BMW 335i in the shop let me take up here with the coilovers like I said I done had them for a while they still in the box I haven't opened them but we are gonna check them out together let me get a razor blade and I'll show you what I got. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, I guess I need to get them out the package and put everything on the table. Okay, let's check out what we got. From the jump, they look like some good quality coilovers for us, the appearance of them. We also got some tie rods, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use these spinal tools to adjust the ride height. Got some spacers. These are the front here. Now let me get this clear here. I'm not sponsored by Max Speed Rods. I paid out the pocket for these. Which I probably could have got sponsored, but I had just got these on the fly. Here goes the real here. And I got some of the stuff that I'm going to need for us installing it. This is not a how-to video. I'm just going to take you along on the process. I got my Milwaukee jack stands, a jack, and a four-way. Also, this one, you probably gonna need some anti-seize. And I got two strut spreaders here to spread the struts open. So I guess we're gonna get started installing them. First, we gotta jack it up, take the wheel off, and we'll go from there. First, you're gonna have to remove this brace. You gotta, uh, let me see what this is. It's a E16, and on this middle one, it's a little bit bigger. I just used a 14 millimeter to get it off. See, this is the middle one here, 
14 millimeter go right around it it'll take it off these are the spring spacers that I was using as you could tell they had bottom out a couple of times and bent it that's why I took them off Okay, I got the wheel off. As you can tell, I haven't drove this car because the road is rusted. But we got to remove this bolt here with this nut. It's a 16 millimeter. It hold uh, the sway by end links on. I know I said tie rods earlier. I meant sway by end links. 16 millimeter. Now I remove the speed sensor. I'm using Allen wrench. And let me see if I can get you a shot of it. It's right here on the back side of the hood. Now I can remove this clamp. Get all this out the way. Got those 13 millimeter nuts off. Now we'll take the spring compressor and our strut housing spreader. And we should be able to take the strut out from there. We got to compress this spring to get it down and spread the housing to remove it. I got the strut out with the spring compressed. Now I got to pull it out the housing. This tool here gonna do the job. It's gonna spread it open for me. Now I should be able to pull it out. Remove both struts from the front. Let me show you. We're going to compare the struts from the factory and the coilovers. This one here, I haven't did no adjustments on this one. It came straight out the box like this, but I had moved this one up because, like I said, I'm trying to raise mine. I'm not trying to lower it. And I think I'm going to put this one like this, and we're going to start from there. But you can see the difference from the height of the factory strut and a new coil over. So I guess I'm going to adjust this one here. Same length as this one. Then we're going to start from there. Both of them land up perfect. Now before I move any further, I'm going to put some anti-seize on it. I'm just going to put it on the threads. Keep it from seizing up over time. Coat it with the anti-seize. I use my jack to jack everything back up. To set it in place. And on these screws here, I had to move them on the inside. These outer ones here. Because it was hitting the top plate. Let me show you. See how they basically touching right here. But look on this one. You can see there's a hole right there. So I moved them on the inside to keep, to keep it from hitting. And plus, I reused the original spacer. This here. To give it more clearance. To a little problem I was trying to fish this back up through there and I couldn't see what I was doing so I had to take this piece here off 
and I got it up through that now. Also, the coil over, it was hitting the brace here. And this bolt here won't fasten down because it's not long enough. So I had to go to Home Depot. I got a longer bolt. I also got a big washer to use as a spacer. I can show you how I did it over here. Here's the bolt, the washer, and here's the nut as a spacer. You can see it's clearing now. Let me show you what size they are. 10, 1.5 by 30 millimeters. This the washer. I got the front on now. It's time to move to the back. As you can see, can't really see no tire. I want at least two fingers. I like this front. Guess we'll jack it up and get to it. First thing I did was jacked it up and took the wheels off. And then, if you got a convertible, it's a lot easier if you just let it up round about to this height here. Then you can access this part back here. Because you're going to need to take this trim piece here off. And you need to take this little rubber cup off in order to access this nut here. This is what I did to get everything loose. On the shock, it's a 17 millimeter bolt. It comes through here, it's on the bottom. Tuck that a loose. Also, this here was coming through here, I like this. And it's a 13 16. I use a 13 16 socket and a wrench on one end. Once you drop that, well, you're going to have to unloosen this. Don't take it off, just unloosen it so it'll give you some play. And once you drop it, you better take the spring out. Then you can go back up top and take the shock out. We got to take this cap off here. And I should be able to knock it off. We're not going to use this here. This is what we're going to be using. Got a rubber washer going on top of it. This goes here. Sit on top of the frame. We also got to reuse these bushings here. This goes. One goes here. And then this one here go. Once you put it in, put it in from the top like this. Coil overs in. Now I just gotta put this wheel back on, drop it down, adjust the ride height.
never stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the top.